All right guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a challenge, all right? So someone basically asked me to make a game in just 30 minutes, an entire game on Roblox in 30 minutes. And I was like, hmm, okay, I could do that. And uh, I thought for a while what kind of game I wanted to do and I actually thought of something kind of cool. So I'm gonna be making an entire game in literally 30 minutes, all right? You guys will be able to play it at the end too. I'll leave the link in the description below, all right? It'll be up right now as you're watching this video. So go play it if you want. It's kind of fun. Uh, I think it'll be kind of fun, at least I haven't made it yet. So <laughs> who knows, but be Sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more roblox development related videos anyways let's get started okay so i'm setting the timer right now guys here we go in three two one and let's go all right that's 30 minutes on the clock okay we gotta go fast all right <laughs> all right so basically the idea i had for this was like sort of like a like a mini games type game right so you have like a little plate or whatever like a little like you know spawn area and then you have like a little like uh area to do the mini games in and then basically you can fight with people you know do stuff like that also i want to add like leaderboard and I also want to add uh, data stores so the data actually saves when we leave the game. I think that would be pretty easy. I think I can probably do it in 30 minutes, but I guess we'll find out. Alright, so first things first, we do need to add the actual map. Okay, alright, and for the map, I'm going to do like a circle, okay? So basically, I'm going to get like a cylinder, okay? Oh my gosh, dude, this is actually a lot harder than I thought. Oh my gosh, okay. A cylinder, okay. Alright, something like that's not bad, I guess. I want to add like a little dummy too, that way I can see basically for reference how big I need to make stuff. Alright, that's pretty good. All right, let me get rid of the base plate, uh, put that at zero. All right, I want to add like a little bit of like a, a, like a spawn area. That way when people first join the game, they're not actually in the game, you know what I mean? They have to like wait a little bit to get in. Holy crap, I need to go faster. What am I doing? Let me, let me delete that thing so it doesn't look so big. Okay, and this will be like a little bit of grass, I guess. That'll be good. All right, and there we go. Now we have like a little bit of a stone thing, I guess, I guess. All right, now we need to actually start scripting. Okay, so, okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, all right. First things first, data stores. Okay, so we need to get the amount of wins in the game. Actually, we'll see that later. We'll see that later. All right, so first, actually, let's go, let's go and start scripting like the main framework, I guess, for the game, the mini games. So what I'm going to do is insert a script in here. All right, we're going to match like main framework. Sounds good. Okay. And then uh, let's go ahead and find a few variables. All right, so what I just did so far is I added a few variables, as you can see. Uh, we have round length in seconds, which is going to be 30 seconds for the rounds and then the intermission length is gonna be five seconds okay and then i define replicated storage which is basically this right here that way we can access it faster and and then i define them in the script that way we can access them and uh, manipulate them you know all right now i'm gonna make a function for basically the timer and like the whole timing system and then i'm gonna put that in a quarantine or i'm basically gonna run that in a new thread that way the scripts can run at the same time instead of you know you know one thing running at a time all right what i'm doing right now too is actually just adding a little status i made a status thing that way so it actually shows the top of your screen um, like if the, if the game is in progress or not. And I basically set that to, an, uh, to a string value and then the, the client can just read that from a local script. All right, I just spawned that function. Now that should work. Now I'm gonna make a little GUI for it real quick. And uh, that way it'll actually show on top of your screen. All right, as you can see, we have it here. Let's go and make that a little bit bigger. There we go, there we go. All right, I'm gonna hide the background of it, make this text a little bit bigger, change the font to something like Gotham Bold. And then we'll just name that timer just for now. And that'll update accordingly. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to test that real quick. I don't really want to waste too much time testing it. But okay, we have 20 minutes left still. All right, we're doing good on time. Doing good on time. Uh, not really. All right, let me see if this works. Intermission. And then, okay, perfect. That works fine. All right, we need to make spawn points inside of here. Uh, actually, we'll just do one spawn point. All right, now what I'm doing basically is I'm checking if that variable um, called, or if that value called in round changes, then we're going to, uh, this event will run, and then I'll know if we're in the round or not. So I'll just check if in round is equal to true or false. So if we're in round, then I'll go ahead and start writing the code to tell for people to the map. Also, let me make that invisible. This will be the spawn point for the game. Can collide off and then anchor it so it stays in position. And then transparency to one. All right, now basically what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and make some functions for each game, okay? So I have three ideas, okay? Basically, I'm going to do like a flood escape mini game. All right, I'll do like a sword fight one. And then I'll have like a laser tag one. All right, so pretty simple stuff. I think the flood escape one we find it kind of fun. I can only, I can always add more in the future, but obviously we don't have that much time. And I don't, don't want to add too many right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically generate a random number. Okay, and then basically with that number, I'm going to get a number one through three, and I'm going to check to see uh, which is which, and then I'll just basically uh, execute a function accordingly. That was a big word. What the heck? Why did I just say that? <laughs> okay, so if random number is equal to one, then I'll basically call you know call this function function and then you know like else if so else if random number 
is equal to two, then call this function and you get the point. And so I'm gonna write one for each one. And then I obviously can't call the function yet, I don't have a function. So I'll just leave that blank for now. But um, probably a better way to do this honestly, but this is like the easiest way I could think of right now. So, all right, so basically I'm gonna make a function for each one right now. Also, I, I move the timer stuff to the bottom of the script because it's kind of, it's kind of you know, we don't need it anymore. This kind of does its own thing. And then we basically check to see if it's written round or not. Okay, and that sounds good. All right, now we're gonna actually go ahead and get the sword and stuff. So let me go ahead and actually find that. You know, we're gonna use free models because we only have 30 minutes anyways. Sorry, we can't build that. <laughs> so we'll use the Roblox default sword, pretty good sword. I mean, everyone uses it. This is a popular sword. Uh, put that in replicated storage and then we'll get a laser gun. So that should be good. All right, perfect. All right, now for these ones, these are pretty simple for the sword fight and the laser gun. All I'm gonna basically do is replicate the thing to each player, which would be pretty simple. Okay, so I cloned it um, from the replicated storage. I put it in their backpack and then I also made them equip it. That way they have it right in their hand. And then I'm basically gonna go ahead and this should work, I think. So then I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, basically do the same thing and just add a little bit for the laser tag. So those two, those two actually already working. That's pretty simple, honestly. So now we're gonna go ahead and actually just call that function for one of those numbers. So for the first one, it'll be that. Uh, for laser tag, it'll be that. It's so pretty simple, right? You get the point. Uh, it, it generates a number between one and three. And if it's one, we'll do sword fight. If it's if it's two, we'll do laser tag. And then if it's three, I'm gonna actually call the function flood escape. Uh, but now we have to actually write the code here. So now what we need to do is actually build a quick little obby, I guess you could say, uh, for our flood escape. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and make uh, another part real quick and then start building that. All right, uh, I don't know if that's enough spacing, but who cares? <laughs> All right, so basically, you know, there's like a little thing where you have to like jump around them. Basically, you have to like jump out and then around and then over. So that'll be kind of difficult, I guess. I don't even know if it's, I don't, honestly don't know if this is possible, but I'm not gonna make it too hard because <laughs> uh, I don't I need I don't have time to test it. All right, and that'll be like the highest point there. And like, if you come here, you kind of like win, sort of. Uh, so now what I want to do is group all the parts together, make that in a model. There we go, pretty simple obby. Uh, and then we need to make some water too. I need to make that real quick. Actually, I'm gonna call this the uh, flood escape map. Okay, and then we'll put that in replicated storage and then whenever we need it we're basically just going to move it to workspace and then it'll show in our workspace right so pretty simple okay we need to make water first so that way we can actually like make the water rise right that's like the point of flood escape so i'm going to copy this and then basically turn it into to water all right with the magic powers oh so th this color is literally called sea green <laughs> um all right then what we'll make it do is just rise up slowly and that'll be that'll be good i think and actually we're not gonna make the size like that we'll just make the position because if it, i do if i do size it'll it'll grow on both ends Ends. All right, so that's gonna be kind of weird looking, but uh, hopefully no one sees that. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, then also you need to make a script in here, which basically checks to see uh, if there's like a uh, so script.parent.touched. We'll make it check to see if the player touched it. And if a player did touch it, then what we're gonna do is kill the player. All right, that was pretty simple. A few lines of code there. All right, and then what I'm gonna do also is like destroy that. And then whenever I get done with the two, I'll just reset the position to what it was. So let me actually copy the position right now, what it is. There we go. And then so after that's done, like after this like whole loop is done, then I'm gonna just basically put it back to where it was. All right, so I think we're actually done. Uh, that's all the mini games done. Now we don't have the win scripted yet, but don't worry, we'll get that scripted in just a second here. We still have six minutes left. Oh geez, we're running out of time. <laughs> okay, okay, so let's go and test the mini games out. Hopefully this works real quick. All right, come on. Oh, Oh, what the? Oh, we forgot to. <laughs> okay, one issue. We forgot to anchor the actual map. That was my bad. Uh, flood escape map. There you go. And okay, we're at, like in the spawn area, right? We wait a little bit. Are right, we're in the game. Uh, now we climb up here. And I think I made this a little bit too small. <laughs> I didn't realize how big we are. <laughs> Should have used that dummy a little bit more. Oh, oh the water is rising. Okay. Uh, we moved it to the edge a little bit, though. Also, I made that obby definitely way too easy. <laughs> but not much you can do about that now. Oh, we got a sword fight. Okay, okay, so we got the sword fight. Uh, the dummy, okay, the dummy doesn't work because this is the dummy. But, okay, so sword fight would work, obviously, with people. I'll actually have a friend come test it with me at the end, but I'm pretty sure this works pretty simply. I mean, that's that's how it works, so yeah. Um, I think the, the flood escape should work now. We have to work on wins. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on wins. Is Oh, no, there's no way we have enough time for this, dude. Oh, my gosh. All right, honestly, guys, I'm sorry. There's no way we're going to be able to save it, though. We have, like, five minutes. I have to write a whole data store script. There's no way I'm doing that in four minutes. So I'm gonna what I'm going to do is write a simple leader stats thing and then basically make it so it uh, adds wins if you win. So, yeah. All right, now that should work, and I'll pop, make it pop up here in the top right. Let me go and check. Actually, I don't even need to check. Why am I checking? Honestly, it's kind of dumb. Come on, let's see it. Yep, there it is. Okay, not surprised. 
Okay, and then we need to basically make it so the player she wins if they win. All right, now how do we do that? Um, okay, we could check to see if they're still in this area, I guess. Oh, uh, we have to use region threes for that. There's no way I'm gonna ship that in time. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I have an idea. Okay, okay. I actually have an idea. All right, so what I'm gonna do is actually make a make a player make every player have like a value inside of them, right? Dead. Okay, so dead. Oh, I make it, I made it an int value. No, it needs to be a boolean value, which is true or false died so dies equal to false okay okay i looked it up i actually i checked to see how a player died so now we just copy and paste boys copy and paste is equal to true now this should work i'm not sure honestly but we have oh we're out of time we just ended okay so we just finished the timer i think i added the died i'm not sure if that's gonna work or not but i guess we'll test it out it, it, i think it should work but the only thing is it kind of doesn't because if you just don't even like I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay, we have an error. Is that an error? Wait, hold up. Oh, my bad. All right, so that's it, boys. That was 30 minutes timer. I honestly, I, I think we did a decent job. Like, that wasn't that bad. Um, we have 30 seconds left, though. Let me go ahead and actually see how that works. All right, so we have laser tag right here. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy, see if this works. Um, oh, dude, that dude... That dude just disintegrated. Did you guys see that? Yo, what the heck? That was actually crazy. Okay, so it kind of works. Um, not too bad. Um, I want to go ahead and test that with a friend, though. But also, I want to see if the flood escape works. All right, so I probably should have added something like saying, like, if you're last alive, then, you know, end the game. But obviously, that didn't really work too well because I only had 30 minutes. But, hey, you know, honestly, we didn't do that bad for 30 minutes. But we'll see how it works in a second here. Uh, let me go ahead and see if I did get the win. Okay, the win didn't work. But, you know, whatever. We're going to publish it. You have to try it. And honestly, we're done. That was 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and send a link to a friend and see see if it's fun. Um, <laughs> I guess we'll see. What should I name it, though? Uh, Mini Game Island. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not bad. All right, I made it public so anyone can join. All right, so I got the the game we got no thumbnail we got nothing <laughs> but you know it, it says the game might not function as intended the developer is after the game oh, okay that's not a good sign but you know it is what it is you know honestly though if i had like 24 hours to make a game i can actually make such a good game in 24 hours like that would, that would be a good challenge like 30, i feel like 30 minutes is like obviously like way, like way too much of a rush but i feel like if you give me 24 hours i could i could make something pretty good in there nah it's, it's fine there. oh okay we're in the game wait why are you flying what what is going <laughs> did you see that <laughs> Okay, this game is obviously com very broken. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, so we so I joined the game. As you can see, there was a slight issue. I just fixed it. All right, I took like a minute. So I trust me, I'm not cheating. Okay, but now we're gonna return back to the game and see if it works. All right, go and join the game now, bro, and uh, see if it works. Okay, this is fun escape, bro. You gotta go. You gotta go fast. Come on, come on, go on. <laughs> okay, the water's coming. The water's coming. Okay, come on. No, no, I just. Oh, how did I just lose my own game? Okay. Um. Wait. Also, I don't think it's possible. Um. Yeah. You're gonna. You're gonna. Oh wait. You lived. All right. That was good, actually, dude. You won. I'm. I'm proud of you, dude. Bob the Builder. You're. I'm, I'm proud. Oh. Okay. Wait. We're back in. Wait. I didn't. I didn't teleport. Why? Why didn't I teleport? That's. That's odd. And I. I just got a laser gun somehow. Okay. Um. Well. <laughs> <laughs> as you can see if you make a game in 30 minutes you're gonna have bugs but you know it, it is what it is we, you know we, we'll figure it out honestly i'm honestly not that mad you know 30 minutes i did this not too bad uh the winds don't work either but you know <laughs> if you gave me more time i'd figure it out all right i, I don't work good under pressure dude oh, also you can shoot through the zoo walls so I'm, I'm gonna kill you yeah let's end the video before it gets any worse dude <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you want more Rolex development related content. I swear I'm not this bad of a scripter, okay? Um, I, I don't know what happened here, but uh, let's not talk about it. Anyways, leave a like if you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Um, peace.